Yeah, so the answer is uh, yes to both of those questions. And one of the, it's one of the big um, questions in epilepsy. Why is it that those people prove resistant to medications? And the interesting observation is that even when they prove um, resistant to a set of medications with one mechanism of action, their chance of responding to a separate set of medications with completely different mechanism of action uh, is also reduced. Um, and sadly... Uh, when we, you know, people have looked over the last thirty odd years, so the number of medications has expanded from you know, a handful thirty years ago, and now to over over twenty different medications. Uh, the proportion of people who are drug resistant has remained at about thirty percent. And indeed, when you look at the turn of the century or the twentieth century, uh, rather, is when you look in, um, you know, in the early nineteen hundreds. Uh, you know, the sort of uh, response rate that people are getting with phenobarbital is not much different from the response rate that we're getting with our modern medications. Um, and the big advance has been that those medications are better tolerated. So one of the big, as I say, unanswered questions is why is it that um, there is drug resistance? And that's um, to do with a whole host of different factors, one of which is just how bad is the disease? So um, which is, you know, how um when when you it's a difficult concept but when you consider uh, circuits that are likely to have seizures um that their that likelihood may be so great that the small effect that drugs have because drugs only alter um you know inhibition or excitation or sodium channels by you know orders of five to ten percent they only have a small effect um, but that effect is often enough uh, to tip the the network back into a more stable state stopping seizures but if that network is so unstable then that small effect whatever it is whatever you're going to be acting on is not going to be sufficient to tip the the network back into a stable state um, so there may just be you know that which is just how bad the disease is yeah, obviously underlying that are things like etiology there's also um, uh, genetics as well, so a combination of genetics, etiology, and also environment, all, all come together to try and determine or to determine drug resistance. And so it's not it's unlikely to be just one specific uh, mechanism. Uh, but trying to dissect out those mechanisms is happening. It's been quite slow, um, and uh, the results, um, you know, are still not translatable into drugs or therapies that we can give to overcome the drug resistance. However, there are you know, drugs that are more powerful, drugs with new mechanisms of action that may some you know, address this resistance to some extent. Uh, but I think really looking at completely different approaches to the treatment of epilepsy is probably going to be the way forward. Um, so there are, uh, obviously we have surgery when we can, if we can identify a resectable area of brain, um, that is causing the seizures and you remove that, then that can be incredibly effective uh, no matter you know, how bad the seizures are. Um, and then there's also now um, neurostimulation by stimulating different areas of the brain. You can alter the excitability of quite large areas of the brain, uh, and that's been shown to be effective in, in drug-resistant epilepsy. And then there are sort of advanced therapies that are coming to the fore and likely to be in clinical trial within the next year or so. Uh, so those are cell, cellular therapies where you put in the brain cells to replace cells that may be lost or damaged that may result in epilepsy, so inhibitory cells, uh, and gene therapies where you can um, inject uh, vectors into focal areas of the brain um, and uh, change the excitability of specific um, subsets of neurons uh, to try and uh, stop the seizures. And that's been shown to be very effective uh, in animal models uh, and trials with these gene therapies um, are likely to be occurring within the next year or two.